from PsychHub and Columbia University Department of Psychiatry and presented by HCA Healthcare. You ask, we answer. As a brain researcher, I would like to offer the idea that our brain is very useful in processing stress and trauma. We are born, we are wired for this purpose in order to survive. Yet, there is really kind of a limit to how much trauma the brain is able to process. When the event is too big, too dangerous, too frightening, involves a lot of guilt and shame, and pain. This is when there is really a crack in the system, which may eventually develop into serious mental health problems. Two people exposed to the same event, one will develop PTSD and the other not. Only about 30 or 40 percent of the veterans will eventually develop PTSD following combat. And the reason is really complicated. The way our brain really uh, respond to a certain event, and especially the cumulative effect of trauma. It's like computers, you know, eventually it's crashed. It's really not the fault of the person. It's really about something in this interaction with severe exposure to real events was kind of a perfect storm that has been resulted with PTSD symptoms. The good news is with good treatment, we are mostly able to reverse those processes in almost the same way they got complicated in the first place. The reason that we eventually develop anxiety, depression, PTSD symptoms, is the fact that we cannot extinguish traumatic memories, not so much the memories themselves, but how they are associated with emotions, with feelings. If treatment come in time and we are able to help the person to separate emotions from the memories, we can really reverse those bad processes. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or topics you'd like to see in future episodes, drop those in the comments below or head over to our community tab to join the discussion. You Ask, We Answer is here to answer your questions around mental health. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You can also find an extended interview with this guest on the You Ask, We Answer podcast, available now wherever you get your podcasts.